Hello friends, today we will understand DNA footprinting technique. So in this technique, uh, it is particularly used to find out location and length of the protein binding molecule in the DNA sequence. So in this technique, DNA molecule is isolated and then after it is cloned with particular vector system. So total uh, two samples are prepared. For an example, if the length of the DNA molecule is 25 to 30 base pair, then one is acted as an experimental sample and second one is acted as a control sample. So in the experimental one, uh, any of the one the end of DNA double stranded DNA molecule is labeled with an uh, radionucleotide labeling and then after protein binding protein molecule is mixed with this uh, uh, labeled uh, nucleotide so this uh, protein will go and bind to a specific location so the question is that how we find out the particular location of uh, protein mo molecule uh, then uh, it is partially digested with DNS1 enzyme. So this DNS1 enzyme, once mode of action of DNS1 enzyme is, it will give cut at the end of every phosphodiester bond and creates a nick. For an example, in, in this DNA molecule, 30 base, bases are present. Then we will get total 29 cuts of uh, DNS1 um, endonuclease enzyme okay if protein molecule will not go and bind to the dna molecule so here it will uh, give a uh, 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 random uh, nix of uh, at every phosphodiester bond and uh, here at this portion due to the presence of protein molecule dna's one uh, cannot uh, um, digest the, uh, the portion of uh, the DNA molecule to at this particular location. So, in the control sample, after the end uh, nucleotide labeling, it is directly partially digested with DNS1 enzyme because uh, in the control sample, binding protein is not added. So, it will randomly cut all the uh, at the end of all the phosphodiester bond because here the protein molecule is not present okay so if we uh, then after if we uh, denature both experimental as well as control sample at a higher temperature uh, so at the higher temperature uh, due to the denaturation uh, both the complementary strands are separated right then after it is electrophoresed and autoradiographed so what will be the uh, result we will get in the experimental sample we will get a uh, 5 to 6 base pair missing band this gap suggests a missing bands and these missing bands are particularly the location of binding site of a protein molecule so furthermore if uh, we take this uh, nucleotide sequence and uh, send them for a sequencing uh, then we will get exact identity of particular DNA sequence uh, that will suggest the particular binding site of the location of the protein molecule. Okay, and then after in the control sample, we will get all the 29 uh, separated, uh, partially digested bands of the uh, DNA molecules because it will give contact at the end overview of uh, uh, DNA footprinting technique and I hope this video will help you please like subscribe and share for more and more videos thank you have a nice day